Dimple Parmar, founder of uh, Laville's Cancer and ZenOnco.io, which is an uh, integrative oncology health tech startup. So uh, my journey started at IIM Calcutta, uh, where it was 2016, when one of my friends was diagnosed with cancer. And as our today's theme is radical reframe, what does that mean? It means how do we rise after falling? And it's okay to fall. We all uh, go through ups and downs in our life. Some or other moment, right? Uh, it's always a roller coaster, right? But what matters the most is how do we take that fall? How do we rise after we fall? And that's what matters the most. A similar journey I have undergone and that was my personal experience. And today we all have seen that it's a uh, few years we have been struggling with COVID, but yes, the pandemic is going to come. It has come. It may come again in the future. But what really matters is how we all collectively come together, hold each other, uh, help each other and uh, rise from that fall. Uh, again, in these times we are seeing uh, there are layoffs, there are difficult situations that are, that are coming soon. Uh, what matters the most is how do we help each other and how we walk on this path together. Really uh, admire this theme because this is uh, this is what we all are facing in daily lives. This is all we are facing in our personal journey, in our uh, financial journey, in our career as well. So a similar journey I had when I was uh, studying at IIM Calcutta and uh, one of my friends was diagnosed and we were just 25 at that time. Didn't know uh, what is cancer, didn't know how to navigate through it. And all we knew that, yes, it's a disease and no matter what, we are going to get through it. No matter what, we are going to uh, survive. We are going to do what all it takes to go through it. And uh, we had our own startups back then. Uh, I was founder of Zapple, which is a women customized uh, footwear e-commerce fashion platform. And Itesh has his own startup. We were focusing on startups, education, uh, placements and other uh, aspects, but not health. Because we thought, yes, doctors are taking care of it and we don't have to. It was one year journey. We went through radiation, chemo, surgery uh, together. And the same journey, we came close. We fell in love. And we thought, yes, uh, now we are you know, venturing into another phase of life. And we graduated at the same uh, day of graduation. We uh, got engaged. And that's what we call um, Roka in Joka. So it was, it all seems like, you know, things are falling in place and uh, the difficult times are over and we are going through, you know, um, go through a beautiful journey now. And that's when there was a, the dark clouds coming over and we didn't see it coming. Uh, it was a casual checkup and Nitesh went to take permission of doctors to get married and also to go to Singapore to work. And that's when doctor casually said that go for scans. And in that scan, we found out that he's already at stage four. And uh, stage four means it's the last stage of cancer and he's going to die in six months. That was the biggest setback I had in my life. Didn't know how to navigate through it. Didn't know what decisions to take. Didn't know how to move forward from here on now. There was emotional breakdown. The world stopped for us. Uh, felt like everything is crashing and there is no going forward from here. There is nothing that we can do. And that's where I decided to give all in, decided to do what all it takes to go through it because that's the only choice we had. The only choice was to rise from here, take control of everything, decide what all options do we have, what all choices do we have and leave no stone unturned. And that's what I did. I took sabbatical from the job. It was hardly a few weeks I started working and I told my uh, seniors that it's not possible for me and the priorities are very clear this time. It was stage three before and the priorities were startup and uh, studies. But now when there is a warning given and there's no other option, so we have to do what all it takes. Thousands of people came together to support us. Uh, there were big fundraising that we did for his treatment. And thanks to um, many people, uh, communities, IIM Calcutta alums, IIT Kanpur alums, and many others who came forward to support us in this journey. And that's what truly transformed us. I did a lot of research day and night for months and months and months. Did a lot of research to see what all things can be done and what all things should be done. It was like starting from scratch and we didn't know what to do and where to go. It, it was like two people who are deeply in love getting lost in this whole new world of cancer. And they just don't know what to do here. Every doctor, I took opinion from multiple doctors across the globe. And every doctor said that no matter what you do, he's going to die. Still, I didn't give up. Still, I kept on looking to something, some hope, some miracle, which might not exist in this world. I kept on looking, searching day in, day out, a lot of research, clinical trials, talking to scientists, talking to radical remission survivors, and uh, talking to um, people who have 
survived cancer through one or other mean and they gave me a ray of hope that yes something can be done yes we don't have to give up because there is always hope and that was that hope that gave me a direction that we have to keep on trying maybe one day we'll see a miracle I mean, that kept me going that kept nitesh going because we had each other support we had each other strength that yes we are going down that hole black hole where we don't know what's going to be the outcome where we don't know that when do we see light at end of the tunnel we just kept on going 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 and his physical body was not supporting he kept on losing weight he lost 40 kilos he had a lot of bad side effects he was in depression he tried to hurt himself he tried to hurt me but still we always cling upon that single ray of hope that yes something can be done we got to keep on trying until the last moment and that's what we did we went to us for advanced uh, treatment clinical trials and it was not possible for us to do it all alone there were people everybody and anybody who came forward to support us because as i said it's not one person two people one family can't do it alone be it pandemic be it a personal journey be it cancer be it any type of stress or the difficult times that we undergo we always need that friend we always need that family we always need that community that society those people who understand us who are going to be with us when we go through such difficult times and uh, that was a journey that we were on unfortunately uh, by the time we got to know what all things can be done should be done it was too late and um, and i saw a truly transformational journey of nitesh a journey of me and uh, by the time um, we got to know it was too late and we lost nitesh to cancer it was march 2018 and that's when he took his uh, last breath and that was the time when i decided to dedicate my life for this cause uh, to help millions of other cancer patients because what i felt i had great support there was there was nothing that was missing in my journey uh, to support nitesh to help him to save him and still um, it was a struggling phase it, it was a very difficult phase that we oh, undergone I married him knowing that he was a stage 4 and knowing that he may not survive after 6 months but still i married because i had that hope that maybe what if my prayers for my husband faith in the power of love the faith in the power of god maybe that save him and i always believed in the story of sati savitri that when she can bring her husband back from death why can't i and i will do whatever it takes to help him to save him from this disease when i look back uh, it's been now of uh, four years and when i look back uh, i see this as a very beautiful journey i see this as a very uh, transformational experience where the outcome maybe it's not what i wanted uh, the outcome is different than what we anticipated the hope that i had but the journey was beautiful the process was amazing and what matters is how well you live it doesn't matter how much you live and the way nitesh lived it was a very beautiful transformation that i saw in him that i saw in me because uh, when you go through such difficult such circumstances all that matters is how you give back how many lives you are touching it doesn't matter what college you studied from uh, how well you are earning at what position you are all achievements you have had in life during that time what really matters is how many lives you have touched people how much you have helped them and that's what i truly lived and seen with nitesh a person who was always career oriented who was always a uh, startup oriented a very very bright entrepreneur and who always and always focused on that career when this happened that what all that mattered to him was uh, even when on he was on death bed he he focused on how can i help people how can i whatever learnings that i've had in last one and half years how do i give back to society and that's that's what uh, matters when we go through such difficult circumstances and what i learned from this experience is that uh, we are here for a limited period of time we just don't know when is our time uh, in this pandemic millions lost lives many families they lost their loved ones uh, many people friends colleagues they lost their known ones Did we anticipate this no were we prepared for it no so today it was this pandemic tomorrow it can be anything and we know the universal truth that we are here for a short period of time and yes we have to work yes we have some liabilities we have responsibilities that we have to fulfill at the same time we have our own um, inner journey that is how much impact that we are creating and it doesn't have to be a big impact always even smaller impacts even the small steps that matters a lot because your one small step one act of kindness can be a big big Im- impact in someone else's life and uh, those people who supported us those people who even um, who told me that dimple can i get you some grocery because you can't leave nitesh and go out 
people who said that can i get some juice for you can i get this medicine for you because you can't go out you can't drive in us can i uh, walk you to the hospital can i take care of you or nitesh can i do this for you small acts of kindness but i do remember those people i do have deep gratitude uh, for those people and uh, and those people actually helped me in my own inner transformation that yes uh, what really matters is the act of kindness the the way you help each other the way you uh, create that impact i may not be in touch with those people today uh, but then uh, their memories are still there and it's always going to be there so uh, when nitesh passed away uh, i decided to dedicate my life for this cause to help other patients to other people because when this happens it's a, it's the most complicated and most critical and most scary disease in the world cancer right when uh, those who have seen it those who have undergone those who have known people who have undergone cancer they might know what all it takes to go through this disease and it's not easy we are not taught to deal with the disease we just don't know how to behave how to take decisions it drains you financially emotionally mentally physically relation wise societal wise from all the perspective it just drains everything out of you completely now during that time if you are able to give a smallest support to somebody during corona time if you are able to provide the smallest support to somebody it really matters a lot for that person for that family and that's what i decided to do i started with lovely cancer which is a non profit venture to support cancer patients and what i uh, believe in uh, though nitesh is not here in physical form today but everybody's love my love for him his love for me um, the spiritual love the uh, strangers love family's love nature's love god's love everybody's love truly transformed us and that that seeds of love that was planted years back at iim calcutta in 2016 we are seeing results of it today when we are able to help other people perhaps the purpose of life is to walk on this path of love and compassion and kindness and do what all it takes to support each other and that's the purpose that i took on and uh, the way i i see this entire experience of two strangers at very young age of 25 years coming together uh, getting diagnosed with cancer falling in love uh, getting married and then looking for that hope and that miracle and uh, i thought the I, the miracle didn't happen and then one day uh, somebody told me in hospital when nitesh was breathing his last breath the dimple you didn't see the miracle has already happened and i said what's that and then she said you are the miracle i said not possible and then they said yes because he had only this much of life left because when we come here everybody's time is decided when we are going to go we just don't know when is our time people into 20s and 30s are getting diagnosed with many other chronic illnesses which we are not supposed to be it's probably because of the lifestyle and many other stress factors that we live in in current lifestyle but yes it is happening so she said that are the medium to make that happen and nitesh's time was written that he is going to be here only for 26 years but you became medium to make that happen to be able to give hope to millions of other people and those words of her that made a long lasting impression on me i don't know I, right now all i care is about nitesh and when he took his last breath i understood deeper meaning of everything that has happened and when i tried to put things together and see what's next for me how do i even i definitely i cannot go back to corporate job i don't want to do that anymore because nothing matters to me really now but then maybe this was the reason of what or why it all happened maybe I, i am the medium to make that happen and then that's when i uh, decided to help cancer patients and then since then there was no looking back uh, we started with lovely cancer which uh, supports cancer patients in uh, no matter what their needs are and uh, in this journey i mean they say that when you truly decide to do something uh, from your pure heart and honest intentions the entire world comes together to help you to support you and similar uh, uh, experience i had i just knew that i want to help patients i just didn't know how and gradually uh, i found some amazing mentors scientists who have been who gave me a path who gave me a, a direction a light how it looks like i came back to india uh, after a training in integrative oncology in cancer and uh, uh, those mentors those scientists uh, they became light came back here started lovely cancer and that's when realized the gap is much more than what i see because there were people like me caregivers like me who were looking for much more personalized care and when that happens nothing matters and you know that the clock is ticking and what decisions you take and how do you even save what do you look for you don't know what 
what you are getting into. You don't know what is the solution, and but you you want to help. You want to do something. You want to do your part, but you don't know how. That complicated, that critical this disease is, and that's where I decided that I'm going to. Um, start something which is much more sustainable, much more scalable because people are looking for hope. They're looking for solutions. Yes, hope will always be there, but what about practical, optimistic solutions that actually helps you in moving towards that hope and moving on that path? And that's when I started Zenonco.io, which is the uh, world's first integrative oncology health tech startup. Zen means peace. It means inner healing. It means uh, uh, happiness and onco is cancer and io is integrative oncology our vision is to save lives of cancer patients and our mission is to make integrative cancer care more accessible managing side effects improving quality of life and increasing life wherever possible not every time we'll be able to save lives but we always try towards that because everybody has their own journey and when they come to Zenonco, when they come to us for help, for guidance, for the support, for coaching, and uh, we try our best possible to put different form of modalities of treatment together to see what works best for this patient and for this caregiver. What we do is nothing but constant companionship. What we are providing is that when you are diagnosed with the cancer, we are your constant companion. And that's the values that we live by. Patient comes first because what we felt that when somebody goes to difficult times, what really matters is who all are with you during that time. How you rise from that fall because life is all about ups and downs, right? Because no one goes through all the good times always or bad times always. Always a bright light that you're going to see soon. But till that time, what you do, how you behave, what decisions you take, how you have that strong willpower that, yes, I'm going to go through it. And trust me, the good times are bound to come. When we are going through the downfall, what all we do matters the most. And uh, have those people with you who are going to understand you, who are going to be with you no matter what you go through. And uh, when I look back, I, I truly believe that that fall, that I have undergone that helped me to transform myself and uh, Lovell's Cancer, Zenonco, helping patients and caregivers and giving hope to millions and giving uh, hope to that one person who really needs that and that hope maybe truly can save that person's life. We have saved patients from stage four when doctors said that you have two months to live or six months to live. And we have many patients who have been surviving from last one year, two years, and they are cancer free today. So, uh, but can I give that promise to every patient? No. But is it possible? Yes, maybe. What all you need to do is what we guide them on. So it is not the fall that matters, but how we respond to that fall matters the most.